Hey guys, Sam and Jack here, yeah. <laughs> and we are in my house at the moment. Cooking some dumplings. Yes. Before our expedition. Jack is correct. We're cooking up dumplings because dumplings are great. Um, and we are about to head back to Big Treads Bridge, where oh. we are going to attempt to once more catch Big Trev. Big Trev. Woo. Yes. Um. So yeah, it's a 100 subscriber special, um, this video, which is awesome. Thank you guys so much, whether you were like our first ever subscriber or our 100th subscriber. Thank you guys so much. It's been great. It's, although 100 doesn't really seem like that much in the grand scheme of things, it is 100 more than what I was expecting for this channel. Um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, thank you, thank you guys so much. Um, it's been great fun making these videos and seeing all your guys' positive comments and support and likes and all that stuff. It's been awesome. Uh, I can't, we can't really thank you guys enough. Ah, uh, yeah. So here's our 100th subscriber special, and we're celebrating with dumplings. I'm and cool. we're going to be doing a giveaway of dumplings. No, we're not. No, I don't think we are. Unless no, you're willing to buy the dumplings and ship them. Yeah. No. No. Thanks. No, we're not doing a giveaway of dumplings, sorry guys. But we will have dumplings in your honour. Anyways, we're going to eat these dumplings, get ready, and we're going to go back to Big Trev's Bridge to try and once more, or once more try and catch Big Trev. Let's go! Ooh. We have friends. There. Are some ducks, oh my god, the wind! Bye Jack! Alright, so in typical NZ Chronicles fashion, I'm going to crash in here so it's away from the wind, um, Jack's gone off to buy some bread and some meat from the supermarket while I'm left here to set up. Um, yeah, just a bit of a um, pre-warning, the wind is, I mean it's not actually that bad, it's more just like a breeze, but the cameras make it sound worse than it is, so I apologise for that in advance, like right now. Um, yeah, so hopefully we'll try and... Hopefully you can still hear us above the wind. Um, yeah. Anyways, let's go. Anyways, this is where we saw Big Trev last time. Oh my gosh, the wind is terrible. I don't like this at all. Um, but yeah. I will show you our rig that we're going to try and use to catch Big Trev. Okay, so the basic um, setup I've got for this is, I'm actually quite proud of it. Um, it's pretty much a line with a big hook at the end and these two floats that kind of um, can go freely up and down the line and what I've done is I've tied a knot about here and what happens is that when it hits the water the floats go up and they hit this and they stop and they go to the surface and then the hook is left dangling like that. Um, that's the basic setup, I haven't actually tried it before but that's the idea and I think it would work and when you're eeling it's, I, I stress this a, couple, a few times in our videos um, it's really important to have the hook like this. Otherwise, if it's if it's lying down flat, then the eels are likely to swallow it, and that's not good for the eel's health. And it makes it really hard to get the hook out of the eel, which endangers its life further. Um, so yeah, what you want to do is yeah, keep the hook like this as much as you can, and then hopefully this will help us catch the trip. That's the plan, at least. We've got some dovey friends here. Hopefully they're a good omen. Hello. The doves don't, don't usually hang around here, so this is actually really cool. Nice. Hurry up, Jack. We're waiting for bait. I want to try out my cool new rig. If you guys want, I um, if you comment enough times, um, I will make a video um, specifically showing how to make um, this handline setup. Um, I mean, it depends how successful um, we are with it. But I'm thinking it should be quite successful because the eels around here like to um, stay, like eat around the surface for some reason. I don't know. Um, or like around the midwater, not necessarily food on the bottom. I think it's because they get a lot of people throwing bread into the water to feed the ducks and the bread stays in the top. So that's what eels are doing there. Um, they're coming up and eating food from the surface, so this keeps it really close to the um, to the surface and keeps it keeps the hook upright, which is um, um, what I'm wanting. So, 
recipe that works. It's actually a really good day. Um, it's not too sunny, and it's actually a little bit overcast, which is um, which are perfect conditions because eels are naturally nocturnal. So I think part of the reason that we didn't catch many eels last time we were here is because it was really sunny. So um, the eels weren't you know coming as close to the surface. They were staying deep down, staying in dark holes and stuff. So hopefully now it's a bit more overcast and the wind ripples the water a bit more, it might um, make the eels, you know, want to come up closer to the surface and hopefully take our bait. That's, that's the theory at least, it's, I don't know, we'll put it into practice and hope it works. These doves are getting ever closer. Here come the ducks. And I think, oh, here come more ducks. And here comes Jack in the distance. You can see him there. Hello. He looks like he's got bread and pastrami. Sweet. Get his bait sorted. Now what we need, we've got doves, we've got ducks, we've got Jack, we've got bread, we've got pastrami, and we've got a camera and a hand line. All we need now is Big Trev. Let's go. I've got this bread here and I'm going to chuck it in the water just to see what's in the water to start with apart from ducks and we'll see if any eels come up to investigate. And we've already got one. Have a look. That's okay, it's, I mean, it's easy to see. Oh, there's another one there. There we go. It's Far up. Food. There's another one there. Look at them all just coming out of nowhere. There's not even that many ducks. Look at that, even right on the surface. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that big one. Whoa, 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 whoa. that's big trip. Is it? That is a big trip right there. Oh my god, look at him. Look how big he is compared to the other ones. Holy, look, he just dwarfed all of them. Look at him. Is he a long fit? No. No, he's no, not no, a long no, no, fit, no. he's a short fit. He is a massive Oh short my fit. god. Look at him, he looks like a war eel. Right, let, let's get some pastrami in the water. Yeah, we do, eh? Woo! Alright, all right, sweet. That's a We've got part. a massive feeding frenzy right now. Oh my god, oh, the dude, trip. dude, this is all dude, from, look at all these eels everywhere. Look at this, this is all from one piece of bread. Look at them all. Alright, we're gonna speak too loud. But we kind of have to because this one. Okay, whoa, oh, the carp. This is a big oh. carp. Let's hope we don't hook that bad Yeah, boy. I don't want to hook a carp. Alright, so Jack's gonna put this in. Hopefully, my technique works and that it, it sinks straight away. Alright, there we go. Oh, yeah, it's kind of sinking, it's kind of sinking. Right, just like leave it like that. Here we go. It's gonna stay. It's gonna stay at the surface because of my knot, and it's just gonna float there. Ooh, oh, oh, here comes Neil. Neil is coming in. We can't really see it. Oh, it's. Here we go. All right, all right, all right. Gonna strike soon. All right, strike. all right. Oh, okay, all good, all good. Baby, can't see anything. Should I chuck some more bread in? Yeah, maybe, maybe they're just hungry for bread today, not pastrami. I don't know. It's it's a completely different smell. Yeah. But right. I reckon they. Whoa, cop. Hello. Oh yeah, I got a bite on the eel. It's really small though. Okay, okay, all good. Oh, we lost the pastrami. Yep, please. Thank you. Oh, jeez. <sighs> Holy damn. They're all coming up and... Oh. Ah. They're just biting the bread straight off the hook. I need it. But they're also biting the pastrami straight off the hook. Okay, so what, what's happening right now um, is that Jack has gone over to buy some like tougher meat, like stronger meat, because the pastrami and the bread just keep falling off the hooks. It's making it super difficult to catch these eels. Even though they're everywhere, it's impossible to hook them. Just, and also the hooks are way too, like, the hook is way too big. So we're, I've got another handline, we're going to tie the smaller hook on, hopefully we can catch some smaller eels. The big hook will be good for Big Trev, but he only pops up every now and then, so it'll be really hard to um, get him. He's really elusive. Um, yeah, I'm just going to tie the smaller hook on and wait for Jack to get back. Right, I've tied this hook on. Awesome. Um, so I'm going to put this back on my head and then we're going to try and um, yeah, catch new. I'm so sorry. It's so windy right now. It's so annoying. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can still catch new. Yeah. Bought some of this. It feels like it's a bit harder. I'm not sure though. But um, yeah, I, I, I guess time will tell. So 
now I'm, I'm just going to bike back to the uh, to spot X where the big Trev is at and you know whatever yeah oh yeah I also kind of hope that uh, Sam's caught something as well I've been gone a while maybe he's hooked a big Trev right 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 he's good he's good oh no 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 don't get tangled now bro don't you dare okay no we're good right he's a little bit tired but he's okay he, he will swim away watch this he's okay he's just a little bit i had to kind of paralyze him. he's okay he just needs some water. No, bro. here we go see oh sorry bro he's all good though watch this oh, he just needs some water and look there he goes He's gone. Ha! Huh. Right. Well, one eel caught. <laughs> now we just need to wait for the next one to be the trip. Can I hook this up to a small hook? Jack's back, by the way. Hi. He's bought bacon, so if that doesn't work, I don't know what will, because everyone it's likes bacon. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. Uh, wait. Uh, he is, he isn't he? He hasn't got the hook. Okay, the hook's still there. Where is he? Oh, oh, nah, he hasn't got the hook either. Oh, oh, maybe. And... Strike. Yank. Oh, no, don't strike that hard. <laughs> that would rip it through his head. <laughs> there's eels here. This is hard to see on the camera. Oh, no, there's one there. That's easy to see. Oh, my God, there's a big trip. There he is. He's right in the shadow, which is really annoying. Oh, whoa, whoa, look at him all. Oh my god, this big trip. Far out, you can see him. He just dwarfs all the others. Look at this, we've got like five, six eels all swirling around the same place. The duck just interrupted the party. But holy damn, look at them all, all after this bread. This is insane, this big trip. Yeah, yeah, just squish up and try and get it on the hook. We've got so much bread. It won't, it won't matter if they take it off first try. Oh my god. Look at all those eels. This is an eel frenzy. What a what? Great. Well, cut. Okay, right, so I've chucked a whole bunch of bread. Look at all those eels going for that one piece. Alright, Jack's gonna chuck his pastrami in. There's, there, there, there. Oh, that's not true. No, that's not big true. That's another massive one, though. There's a carp over there. Oh my god, look at the size of that carp. Oh, wow. Right, there's Big Trev, his tail's mad. Look at all this, look at all this! Look at all this! Oh, oh, Jax, oh, 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 look at him, we're going for it! Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, I'll go around this side. <sighs> Alright guys, um, I'm back at my house. Jack is here, but he's just unpacking and stuff, so I decided to film the outro here. Because uh, it would have been way too windy and annoying filming it back over at the bridge. So uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, we didn't catch Big Trev. We saw him heaps of times, we saw carp, we saw a massive eel frenzy, so it was insane. So it was still really exciting, it's just a shame we didn't manage to hook Big Trev. Um, so we will definitely be returning there to um, to get him because this is it's become personal now. He's taunted us twice, so we must catch him again. Well, no, we must try to catch him again. So we can catch him, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Oh, Jack helps too, but he's away somewhere. Um, yeah, so, yeah. See you guys next time.